make an appointment booking, navigate to appointment booking, and appointment booking. Select the activity type for which the booking is being made for. Then choose to view either by provider or by facility. The facility view will show all available facilities for that activity type. From here, you can optionally narrow down by facility. The provider view will show the available scheduled providers for that activity type. From here, you can optionally narrow down by staff group, and or by provider. Once you've decided on your view, select the applicable booking date from the calendar and double click on the desired booking time. This will launch the booking screen where you can change the booking time if needed. You'll also want to specify or adjust the provider and the facility if applicable and set the service type. To add a member or guest, click the appropriate button. Then click the lookup button under the assign column as applicable. Multiple members or guests can be added to the booking. If adding multiple clients to the booking, specify who will be responsible for the booking. You can optionally add a booking member who is not registered for the appointment but wishes to book or pay on behalf of the registered client. Use the booking notes section to add any notes to the booking and optionally set those notes to be displayed when the registered client checks in. The client tab will list more information about the client that you've added to the booking, including their contact and address info. You can view all clients in the booking by utilizing the drop down to switch between the clients. The prepaid services tab will provide a breakdown of the prepaid services this client may have if you are using the prepaid services module. The future bookings tab will show any future bookings that this client has, whereas the booking history tab will display any past bookings for this client. The booking log is an edit log for this booking and will show all the changes made to the booking since it was first set up. The Reminders tab will show the reminder schedule for this appointment, including the reminder type being used, status, as well as schedule date and sent date if reminders have been configured. The Recurrence button allows you to set up a reoccurring schedule for this appointment booking, where you can indicate when the booking will recur and when the recurrence should end. Hit Save Booking to save and close this booking and add it to the calendar. Alternatively, you can delete or cancel the booking. When viewing bookings, you can choose to filter the bookings that are displayed based on their check-in status as well as their paid status. When a client shows up for their appointment, you can left-click, then right-click on that appointment to check them in. Alternatively, you can double-click on that booking and click the check-in button. You also have the option to mark the appointment as a no-show. From here, you can use the Assign Charges button to split the charges between multiple clients. To split the charges, select the charge description and click the Split Items button. Decide how many clients you want to split the charges between and which client will be paying which portion. Then click the green check mark to save. Once you're finished assigning charges, click Save and Close. And once ready, hit the Launch POS button to send the booking to POS where you can bill it to the clients. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more how-to videos, and don't forget to subscribe.